Hello, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be discussing why if you do not believe in universal salvation, you are a blasphemer. Okay, now the reason I'm doing this video is because I see a lot of people uh, say universal salvation is heretical and it's not the true God. But I, I actually flip the script and say that if unless you believe that God is an all-loving, all-wise God, and you do not believe in universal salvation, you're the blasphemer and you're the one giving God a bad name because um, the idea that God's going to send most people to an eternal hell to be eternally tormented makes God seem like a psychopath. And uh, I could sort of understand if it was for really evil murderers and rapists, but it's not. It's just simply if you don't believe in Jesus or if you don't believe in Islam, you're going to hell. So unless you're part of my gang, you're going to hell. But that's not the nature of the true father. The true father is all loving. He loves every single soul in this world, regardless of your belief. He's more concerned by your actions and how close you can get to him and how much love you can portray in this world. And I'm very strong on it because I do not believe religious people do not represent God and the love of God. They represent false egotistical ideas of God, of you have to be part of my gang. If you're not part of my gang, you're going to hell. Just a load of rubbish. And it's of the ego. And I can tell they're not truly born again. Because when you're truly born again of the spirit, you realize, oh, these are just man-made concepts of this world. They're not of God. God is of the spirit. And every single person in the world has a spirit. And that spirit has no religion. And when you're born again in the spirit, you see the spirit in everyone. And that's what you connect with and identify with. Rather than saying, I'm a Christian, I'm a Muslim, I connect with you because you're a Muslim, I don't connect with you because you're a Christian, you're going to hell, you're going to heaven, and you're just arbitrarily making up decisions based on your egotism and your egotistical belief. And what's funny is, uh, for example, the Christians, when I discuss with them, they'll be like, no, you're wrong, unless you accept Jesus, you're going to hell. And uh, I get the idea that if they found out that the truth was universal salvation, that they'd actually be disappointed because they exist as an ego and they'll be like, oh, no, they'll be upset. Or, oh, no, I thought I was special. When in reality, nobody is special. When you're born again in the spirit, you're humbled and you realize, ah, oh, OK, none of us are special. We're all made of the same spirit, the same uh, image of God. Or we're all at different stages on our path. Some are further on the journey. Basically, the closer you are to love, the closer you are to God and the closer you are on uh, the journey home. And one misconception people get, I saw this guy arguing, this Christian guy arguing that uh, universal salvation can't be true because it would be like living in this world and not punishing murderers and rapists. You believe in, oh, there's only love, there's only good, there's no punishment, when that's not what uh, we believe, people who believe in universal salvation. Universal salvation simply means that ultimately everybody will be returned home. But there is punishment and there is discipline from the Father, but it's not eternal. You know, it's not going to be sending people to be eternally tormented and it's not discipline and uh, torment for the sake of it. It's for the sake of correction, just like a loving father in this world, he will discipline his child for the sake of correction. So if you have a child and the child misbehaves, you'll give them a time out for five minutes and you do that for the sake of correcting their bad behavior and bringing them back on the correct path. If a father, if a child misbehaved and the father threw him in the room and started beating the child up and torturing him, you'd think the father was a psychopath. And this is how religious people view God. Basically, he's a psychopath. He's going to send most people to hell for eternal torment. In which my mind is absolute blasphemy to suggest that God is that evil when the ultimate truth is God is the ultimate, ultimate loving, wise father. And his disciplinary measures are there as a result of or to correct people, not to torment people. And I think this is, is actually plays a big part in why nobody is turning back to God in the modern world is because people don't want to return to a God who's going to send most people to hell. They want to uh, because intuitively we know that intuitively people may not be able to realize it, but intuitively we know that God is all love and ultimately he will return everyone home. And when we're told that this God is going to send people to hell unless you accept this, blah, 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 unless you become Muslim, blah, 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 you're going to hell and all this stuff. People are just immediately turned off 
because our spirits, it pushes us away. Our spirits are drawn towards a love. And when there's a lack of love, we're pulled away. It's like if you're in an environment, if you're born again, and you have the love of God in your heart. If you're around angry people all the time, it drains your energy and you're being pushed away from them. Whereas when you're around loving people, positive people, you're drawn towards them because it's the nature of God and the nature of ungodliness. And it's actually not a controversial subject because, as I said before, when I've done my Christian universalism videos, that a lot of the early fathers believed in universal salvation. And I'll put some quotes up on the here to end the video. So if you're interested in a, a few quotes from the early fathers, I'm going to end that in the next two minutes. I'll leave them on the screen. But for now, remember to return to the father, the true all loving father. Forget the religious gods who are psychopaths. Uh, God bless everyone. Leave any comments below. Like the video. Subscribe for more. And watch these quotes. God bless everyone. Goodbye. Your prayer.